Hello and welcome to Thursday Thoughts. Today I'm going to cover the Wolf Charbroiler. Now the Charbroiler is available in range tops, 36 and 48 inches. It's also available in our gas and dual fuel, 36, 48 and 60 inch ranges. Now you notice I call it a Charbroiler and not a barbecue. And here's the reason why. And with the Charbroiler, you have three distinct zones. It's actually made not to be evenly cooked. And the reason why is because you can't sear something and cook it slowly to get predictably delicious results if it's all the same temperature. You need distinct zones to really give you the results you want. So you see when I take the cover off, you see this front area is just stainless steel. There is no infrared burner. Then you have the infrared burner, and then in the back you see the infrared burner is actually covered with a plate to suppress the heat and energy from going forward. Now in the front, you see these angled things. These actually push the heat out so that in this front area, though it doesn't have direct infrared heat, it does have a warm heat. And in the back, that plate covers up any heat so that the back would actually be the coolest zone inside the charbroiler. So when I'm cooking a steak or doing chicken and I want to sear it, I would sear my salmon, my tuna, my steak here in the very hot zone, and then I would move it forward to cook. Because in this area up front, there's not as much direct infrared temperature. Now, if I'm doing a large bird or, or a bigger protein source, I would want to put it in the back because that plate right there actually covers the heat, allowing me to have a slower cooking process on the barbecue and be able to cook. So again, this is a charbroiler with three distinct zones. The middle is your sear zone. It's hot. There's one temperature to a charbroiler. The front is a medium zone, allowing you to kind of cook through and be able to cook, uh, you know, something, maybe a thinner piece of meat here in a quick time. And then the back, because that plate is your cooler zone. So that charbroiler with those three zones gets you this result. So as you can see on this platter, we cooked all this chicken on the charbroiler at once. The chicken on the front left, that was in that medium zone, getting slight char, but not heavy charring. As you move to the right, you're going to notice that the grill marks are a lot darker and more intense. That's that char zone in the charbroiler. And then on the far left, in the upper corner, that's stuff that was cooked in the very back at a very low temperature, so you didn't have very much searing at all. So whether you're going to sear the flavors in and really get the flavor that you want and then be able to move it into one of the other zones, that allows the proteins to break down slower so that you get that melt-in-mouth protein with predictably delicious results. Thank you for watching Thursday Thoughts. Hope that helps.